Hey Natalie here. Today I'm going to show you how to make jam filled sandwich cookies just in case you don't have yet a dessert for the holidays. And they are so good, gluten free certainly, that I will not only outshine the glutinous cousins, but will make everybody think it's the real deal. It smells like the holidays everywhere. I see cookies right and left, every type and every kind, and my inner cookie monster rejoices. And with all those cookies around me, I feel the peer pressure. All the cooking channels have a cookie, so I need to make a cookie as well. But which one? After I sent out a survey to my friends and family to decide which cookie I want to make, I settled on Hildebrötchen or Spitzbuben, or in English, jam-filled sandwich cookies. In Germany it's definitely more a Christmas thing, but in the English-speaking country apparently they can be consumed anytime. And just for my friends, who have always made fun of the long German words, this is a very long English word. And it is for a cookie. Let's get started though on this really simple and very delicious cookie recipe. The cookie dough is really a mixture between a shortbread and a sugar cookie dough. In German it's simply called Mürbeteig. For the gluten-free cookie flour combo you want to measure 100 grams of Malay flour, 100 grams of oat flour, 100 grams of white rice flour and 150 grams of potato flour, not potato starch, potato flour which is dehydrated potatoes. Add 160 gram 3 quarter cup of sugar, 300 grams or 1 and a third cup of butter or vegan substitute, which you want to cut up into small cubes. That will help mixing the dough a lot. Add 1 egg or 1 flaxseed egg as vegan substitute. You can start mixing the dough now with a spatula or by hand. I prefer by hand because you can break down the butter with your fingers and make sure the dough starts to stick together. Butter and dough crumbles are starting to form. It's getting tough kneading the dough in the bowl, so I'm going to pour the content onto my working surface and continue kneading until my dough becomes one smooth dough ball. I'm going to let the dough rest for 30 minutes in the fridge. I'm going to start rolling out the dough now. I'm going to rip up two of the parchment papers and roll out the dough between both sheets. The dough should be half a centimeter or a quarter inch thick. And if you have some of those Santa's little helpers, they are kind of very helpful for this. Now I have to find two cookie cutters. One has to be a little bit smaller than the other one, just that we have a little bit of a cutout. The cutout is really to highlight the jam which is inside of the cookie. Now it's time to cut out all the cookies and make sure that half the cookies have a cutout. With a cake spatula, move the cookies onto a baking sheet. Bake the cookies at 300 degrees Fahrenheit or 165 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. You want to see that the edges are a little bit browned. Let the cookies cool down completely. Pick your favorite jam, put it in a bowl, and then with a cake spatula or a butter knife, Spread the jam onto the back side of the cookie so the pretty side looks outwards and place on the top one of the cookies with the cutout. You want to let the jam in the cookies dry overnight. The next morning you can sprinkle powdered sugar on the top of the cookies. Flip the cookies around and add some more powdered sugar to the back side of the cookies. Now your jam filled sandwich cookies are ready to be served or picked up. I put in the video description the recipe, the ingredients and local places where you can buy them. And if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and check the box to get notifications about upcoming videos. And next week, we're going to make carrot cake.